Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to add a Gmail account to your Android box or any Android device. As you know, you cannot install applications without a Gmail account. There are usually three ways to do that, Play Store, Google Chrome, or Settings. If you go to Play Store, once you press that, you will get prompted to sign in. Just press sign in and enter uh, your email address, your Gmail account, and your password. If you're getting an error in Google Play Store, you can always open the Google Chrome application. The same thing, you will get this option right here, login or to non sync. Once you press that, you will get prompted to enter your Gmail account and your password. The same thing. If you're getting errors in Google Chrome, go to settings. You will see accounts and sign in. Tap that, open it, and you will get the same option. Enter your Gmail account, press next, and enter your password. If for some reason you're still having problems after entering your Gmail account, go to settings. Device Preferences, Storage, Internal Storage, Find Cache Data, and just remove this will clear cache data for all apps. Press OK. If this does not resolve your issue, go to Settings again. Press your uh, Gmail account, your email address, and again your email address. Press that, you would see remove account, remove, press remove, and just enter your Gmail account again. Press add, add account, and just enter your G Gmail account. You can reboot now your your box and just uh, you'll be able to install applications now if this does not resolve the issue in your android box go to settings open apps and tap see all apps scroll down scroll down to show system apps and find google services it's right here Google play services press that press clear cache press ok and clear data and then press ok once done that Go to disable, it's right here, this option right here. Disable Google Play services and then enable it again right away. Why I'm doing that, just to make sure it's enabled and enable it again. Perfect, the problem should be resolved and now you can reboot your box, just turn it off and turn it back on and you're ready to go. You can reboot now your box you'll be able to install applications now. That's it guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Please subscribe, leave your comments if you have any questions. Have a good day.